What makes someone conventionally attractive? Well, according to Google, it's when a person fall within common beauty standards or have features that society as a whole deems desirable. So that gave me an idea to rank all the Soulsborne bosses based on who is the most conventionally attractive or good looking. What I did was I went through all the games from Dark Souls 1 all the way to Elden Ring and picked out the bosses and ranked them based on who I think society would find the most attractive or good looking. So no, you're not going to see bosses like Malekith or Gwyn here on this list because first of all, one is a wolf, that's weird, and second of all, the other is an old ass zombie man. And another thing, I won't count bosses that, that were in their prime as part of the list because then almost all the humanoid bosses would be on this list. And just one last thing, if a boss hasn't shown their face or at least a part of it, they won't end up on this list at all. So getting that out of the way, let's get to the ranking. At last place we have Godfrey. Now don't get me wrong, despite his old age, you can tell that Godfrey is or was a good looking dude in his prime. So I'm not gonna say he's ugly or anything cause he's far from that. But he's a bit old and I feel like as you get older once you're past your 50s or whatever, people start to de desire you less. So that's why he's up here at last place. But don't get me wrong, I definitely believe that Godfrey would pull a lot of women, especially MILFs, but you have to take into consideration that he's extremely tall and huge, which to be fair a lot of women love, but let's be honest. When it comes on to doing the deed, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be scared cause if you put two and two together, you know what I mean. So yeah, Godfrey is last place. At 7th place we have Genichiro. Genichiro would be more desirable in the real world compared to Godfrey in my opinion. I mean despite him looking dirty as hell, he's a great looking dude, he's tall without being super intimidating, he's also lean as hell which a lot of women prefer when it comes on to their ideal male body type. So yeah, Genichiro takes 7th place and he's probably the most conventionally good looking male boss in Soulsborne history. At 6th place we have Priscilla. Now Priscilla is really tall which might have been a bad thing for girls back then but in this day and age a lot of guys actually mess with tall girls a lot. She also has natural white hair which a lot of people would love plus nice looking eyes. Now the only part of her that made her not get a higher rating is the fact that she has a tail and I know some of y'all like that but let's be honest, in the real world it it's not really something that most people would find, you know, attractive on a person. Coming in at 5th place we have Sister Frida. Frida takes the 5th spot because I genuinely believe a lot of people would find her attractive in the real world despite her scar on the face. Shit, some people probably love that scar. I mean she's tall and she's badass, like come on, that automatically would make a lot of people find her attractive. At 4th place we have Nishanja. And no, I'm not talking about this form, I'm talking about her normal human form. Now Nishandra in the game looks mid at best due to the graphics but in the lore she managed to use her looks to seduce King Vendrick so that goes to show that she's very beautiful and that automatically would make her desirable in the real world by many people. At third place we have Renala. Renala is tall, beautiful and super intelligent because to know this amount of magic you literally have to be a bookworm, at least in the Elden Ring world so yeah she gets third place. At second place we have Emma. Now you might be wondering why is Emma so high on this list compared to many other this is because in terms of conventional attractiveness, Emma is desirable by a lot of people in real life. And the reason why I say this is because while some folks love really tall people, majority of men and women tends to want someone a bit more low key while still good looking and Emma fits that category pretty well. Plus she's a doctor which come on, this obviously bumps up her rating. Before getting into the number one spot, I have some down bad honorable mentions. These are the bosses that are attractive but not in the conventional sense. It's the like, it's the hear me out type of situations, you know what I mean? First up we have Radagon. Now Radagon in his prime definitely is conventionally, you know, a good looking dude. But right now he's missing half of his face and his body's broken. But I know some of y'all out there still find him good looking and attractive and down bad for him. Plus Radagon was a heartbreaker, he was like a player, he's literally the heartbreak kid in his prime too. Like He was going from Renala to Marika and I'm pretty sure he probably went with more women in the lands between as well, just under the low low, I don't know. Next we have Dancer of the Boreal Valley, I mean she has a dumb truck which a lot of people can't stop talking about so that's why I added her here. Now we have Gwendolyn, genuinely a good looking dude, if it wasn't for the snakes he would have pulled so many girls. You know what, I take that back because I know a lot of y'all are freaky as hell. Now the topic for the most down bad honorable mention goes to Melania. You know how many times I've heard someone say, I don't care if I get scarlet rot or I don't care if it rots off, that's what flame cleanse me is for and I'm like huh? But I do kinda get it cause she is definitely kinda caked up you know what I mean. Okay moving on. 
At the number one spot for the most conventionally good looking Soulsborne boss, we have Lady Maria. Where do I even start? She's tall, but not super duper tall. She's smart and skilled and, well, and really good looking. To the point where Garman made the doll to look just like her. All of that is the reason why I choose her for the number one spot. For the most conventionally beautiful boss in the entire series. At least according to what society would consider beautiful. And there you have it, the most conventionally beautiful Soulsborne bosses. Thank you for watching this video and I want to shout out to my Patreon members. Frank Holos, Hugh Nguang, and Jabroni Jones. Thank you for being members on my Patreon and thank you for the support. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good one and yeah, that's it.